Welcome to the Game of Life 3D application. The idea here is that we have a bunch of simulation cells, which are these small cubes we can see all around the screen. And according to the rules we set out for them, they are going to live or die. And for this particular simulation, I'm having it so that cells with four neighbors are going to get born or survive if they're already alive in the simulation. If we change these rules by adding new birth values, we are going to see that more cells appear in the simulation and we are going to see new patterns compared to the previous ones. We can also affect a bunch of other things in the simulation on this application. So in the settings, we can see that I have a simulation of 200 by 4 by 200 size. And this means I have a la rather large plane, which is thin in the y direction, having only four cells. I can affect the simulation speed, the intensity of the animations in the simulation, and many other settings where I can get more information by clicking these information banners on the right side of the simulation. If I disable the animations and ramp up the simulation speed, we can see that all the changes in the simulation propagate very quickly, and we have this rather dynamic pattern on our simulation. Very similar to the original Game of Life you may have seen. We can also build a custom starting condition for the simulation from the build seed option. And for example, here I'm putting there are four cells in the center of the simulation and then these individual reference cells on the corners. And when the simulation starts, we can see that the pattern we just built is the original starting condition. We can relaunch this at any time using the spawn button on the bottom of the screen. And now if we change the rules and respawn, we can see that the different patterns are going to arise compared to the ones we saw with the previous rules. And for example, with this rule, cells with one neighbor are getting born or surviving. We can see more of these straight-edged patterns, which resemble a little bit like circuit boards or similar patterns. Then in the main menu, which is the first screen you are going to see in this application, we have the visual controls. First of all, the teams. And these teams affect both the UI and the cell visuals for this application. This green theme, for example, has this kind of look. Then we have a neutral theme, amber theme, pink theme, paler blue theme, and then the original one. And each of these has a different look and feel for the application. Then we have the visualization of individual cells in the simulation. We have a small preview here where we can see all the options available. And if we click these options, we can see that the simulation cells immediately take this new look we have set out for them. Then we have the color seams. And currently I'm using the multicolor one, which is having different color for each individual cell in the simulation. Basically using the red, green and the blue channels for the axis of the simulation. Then we have the default one, which is layering darker cells below with lighter cells on top. Single color, which is having the theme color for each cell in the simulation. And finally, grayscale, which is using the layered coloring, which with only grayscale color values. On the very bottom, we have the simulation geometries. And the default one is having all the simulation cells in a straightforward cube like orientation. Then we have the galaxy geometry, which is having this galaxy-like representation, especially when we are having a thin simulation in the y-axis direction. 
Then we have the field geometry, which is a spherical representation of the simulation, which looks quite different looking at it from different angles. And also this simulation geometry is going to look quite different when we are using different sizes for the simulation. And finally, we have the loose geometry, which is similar to the default one, but here we have more spacing in between the cells. So for especially larger simulation, we have more opportunity to see what's going on behind the simulation cells. And these geometry options are also accessible from this simulation view on the bottom left corner. Additionally, we have the simulation birth value manipulator, which we can use to affect how much percentage of the birth, va birth values are affecting in the simulation. So having a lower value causes less births in the simulation and therefore having fewer cells over time. Having a smaller death value has similar effect, but for the deaths, so reduced value has larger amount of cells over time. And these options can be used, for example, to create pockets in the simulation where there are not cells. So having these kind of pockets of alive cells, for example, by reducing the birth values. And then when the desired effect is achieved, we can reinitiate the birth percentage. Additionally, we can save our current simulation state. So if we go back to the main menu, in the saves option, we can save our current simulation as a file. So I will just name this test file, and then it appears on the list. And at the, any given point, we can return to this simulation we just had. As an example, I will load this cube I have stored. And for example, this is a large cube where all the simulation cells are currently alive. And I can return to this and change all the rules and whatever and continue from the state I had stored here. And let's return to the simulation we just had by loading the file. This will also load the simulation rules we had set out for it. This is all for this video. And you can get this application for your own device, whether it's PC, Android, or iOS. And the links for this are in the description. There are practically countless different things you can try out with this application, and you will not run out of new things because there are so many different rules you can set up for the simulation and also different starting conditions. And additionally, I can change the rules at any given point. So I could treat, for example, this state of the simulation as the starting condition and then change the rules to have different end results. And also by saving this state, I can also try many different kinds of rules and how they affect starting from this condition in the simulation. I hope you will enjoy this application. Thank you for watching and bye.